Today in the Daily Dose, the second middle passage. According to the Transatlantic Slave Trade Database, maintained by professors David Eltis and David Richardson, during slavery's 246-year reign in the Americas and the Caribbean, an estimated 12.5 million Africans were forcibly sold out of Africa, taking the lives of some 2 million men, women, and children during the Middle Passage alone. Justified by religious leaders as the will of God, as well as by so-called scientists who maintain that black people were a lesser evolved subspecies of the human race. Of the 10.5 million Africans who survived the brutal Middle Passage, only 388,000 made their way into North America. After the slave trade was banned in 1808, when Southern economies shifted between 1830 to the start of the Civil War, an internal or domestic slave trade saw the transfer of some one million slaves from the Upper South to the Lower South in what became known as the Second Middle Passage. Following Eli Whitney's invention of the cotton gin in 1794, a Southern slave's ability to clean cotton rose from five to six pounds a day to over a thousand, increasing cotton production from one and a half million pounds in 1790 to 331 million pounds in 1830 and a staggering 2.3 million pounds by the eve of the Civil War. Cotton became king in the lower southern states, triggering a second forced migration of Native Americans out of the newly minted states of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana to the Indian Territory in present-day Oklahoma. As tobacco profits began to erode in the upper southern states of Maryland, Kentucky, and the Carolinas, tobacco planters were obliged to sell their slaves to the cotton kings, increasing the price of slaves from $500 in 1800 to $1800 by the start of the Civil War, or an estimated $64,000 in today's currency. Of the 3.2 million slaves working in the 15 slave states in 1850, 56% worked in cotton, and of the 1 million sold from the Upper South to the Lower South, many slaves caught up in the Second Middle Passage were sold away from wives, husbands, and children, forced to travel hundreds of miles into the Deep South while frequently shackled and whipped by inhumane slave traders, making the Second Middle Passage yet another worse hard time during the human injustice of slavery in America. And there you have it, the second middle passage, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.